here we are going to learn what is partial regression coefficient we are going to understand the mechanism of multiple regression with the help of an example as the name suggest multiple regression means when you have multiple independent variables for example y equal to alpha plus beta 1 x 1 beta 2 x 2 as you are seeing on screen just understand that the conditional mean of y i or the expected value of y is given by alpha plus beta 1 x 1 i and beta 2 x 2 i where beta 1 and beta 2 are partial regression coefficient what is the meaning of partial regression coefficient here beta 1 is the impact or changes in the mean value of y for per unit change in x1 holding x2 constant or in other words beta 1 gives the direct or net effect of a unit change in x1 on ey net of any effect that x2 may have on ey similarly beta 2 measures changes in mean value of y for per unit change in x2 holding x1 constant now the two questions how do you get the net effect net effect of x1 on x y or net effect of x2 on y and why do we need to do we'll understand both with the help of an example first for beta 1 and then for beta 2 for getting the regression coefficients let's first regress y and x2 please note beta 1 is the regression coefficient partial regression coefficient of x1 here you are going to get y equal to alpha plus beta as you are seeing on screen and e1 which is the error term now regress x1 and x2 and you get the e2 term which is the error term when you regress e1 and e2 you get beta 1 amazed right how come we can get beta 1 now understand what is happening actually equation a gives you the portion of y which is not being explained by x2 so essentially it is that portion of y which is not being explained by x2 so essentially available for the explanation now x1 is not 100 percent available that portion of x1 which is linked with x2 that is not available so when you remove the impact of x2 on x1 what is left is e2y e2y is the portion e2 is the portion which is which is available e2 is the portion of x1 which is available to explain e1 so when you regress you get the beta 1 here in equation c the intercept term is not going to be there for sure why think of now let's understand for beta 2 pretty similar very much same so essentially i am going to put everything on the screen so that you can browse through and you can stop and you can read it next why we didn't have intercept in equation c the reason is very similar very uh, very easy regression line passes through the mean of the both the series here e1 and e2 both are standardized error terms so essentially the errors the mean value are going of e1 and e2 both are zero so the intercept can never be that's it i thank you for your time and i'll request you to subscribe to this channel so that you can uh, get to the new uploads thank you